all right people we have to speak about arsenal a lot of people doubted arsenal a lot of people doubted that that, that the capabilities of the bench of arsenal myself included doubted nuaneri the star in the making we have to speak about arsenal's bench we have to speak about how arsenal will cope odegaard is still far away still uh, Mikel Moreno is not back with the team who's gonna create do Arsenal have the bench to win games yes the only play Bolton Arsenal won 5-1 again is Bolton in the cup playing a team of the bench players that don't start games apart from the superstar Bakai Saka of course but I am absolutely have to focus on Ethan Waneri if you are here now we'll talk about Arsenal we'll talk about the game against Bolton I'm going to talk about the rule. Nuaneri is going to play for this Arsenal team. Also, Gabriel Jesus. Raheem Sterling as well. Scoring a goal today. Having an assist for Nuaneri, of course. So hit that like button if you're here. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Footy Judge Mode. Daily content, of course. Hit that like button. It helps the video. Keep that like button lit. But listen. Nuaneri today stepped up. It is not easy to come into this Arsenal team when Odegaard is not there. Ah, oh, it's only against Bolton. But you can only beat what's in front of you. He's a youngster, doesn't have a lot of experience in the first team, of course, but he stepped up. Looked absolutely magnificent. Nuaneri today dribbling. Late runs in the 18 to score the goals, of course. Passing around, dribbling, connecting the game, connecting with Bukai Saka looked like a player that is born to be in the Arsenal team absolutely fantastic and magnificent Ethan Waneri today I have to admit this guy looks like a superstar looks like a player that is ready 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 to absolutely step in and have a team and have sorry and have a role in this team look at this the lineup for Arsenal of course if we look at the lineup of Arsenal, you can take a look at the line of a Gabriel Jesus started, Raheem Sterling started, Nuaneri, Jorginho, Declan Rice. Of course, what a goal scored by Declan Rice, the hundred plus million pound player that everyone doubts. But every time people doubt Declan Rice, he puts in goals, he puts in performances. The guy that won a lot of man of the matches last season for Arsenal, it was by far. Arsenal's best player last season, but listen, Ethan Waneri, absolutely brilliant. The left footed player looked absolutely amazing today. This guy, and I'm gonna have to stress on this, this guy, without a shadow of a doubt, looks like he wa he's hungry. He wants to play. Looks like a player that can absolutely step him smoothly into the team. Yes, Arteta can integrate him into the team, but I'm sure that this kid will have a massive future for arsenal football club they need him now we all know that odegaard is out they need him now we're asking where the creativity is coming from it can come from him it can come from him of course but also i want to shout gabriel jesus people judge gabriel jesus only on the goals and the assists the ga as they call it these days but gabriel jesus brings something completely different to the table I'm going to keep back in Gabriel Jesus because I actually realized after years from watching Gabriel Jesus, he's not a striker. He's close to a false nine or a playmaker. He is that guy that you put him in the team. He might not give you the GA, but he will connect the play. He will bring everybody with him up top. This guy has dribbles, has vision, of course, can absolutely pass, can create. I love watching Gabriel Jesus play. You need goal scoring wingers which is Bakai Saka's one. Martinelli, if he brings back that form, can be one. Raheem Sterling scored a goal today. Raheem Sterling scored a goal today and, that, and had an assist. So the wingers can bring the GA. Someone like Ethan Waneri can bring in the GA if you have someone like Gabriel Jesus. So we have to, to, to look at this Arsenal team. And, and today, of course, they weren't going to play defensively against Bolton. Of course, we know the Arsenal were going to go out and dominate Bolton and create abundance of chances. They are playing at the Emirates against a team that is two divisions below them. So to me, I'm looking at Arsenal today, I'm thinking, this is the rotation that we're talking about. 
when you play these lesser oppositions, you can rely on Jorginho sometimes. You can rely on Ethan Waneri. You know what I mean? Calafiori today played as a center back. Jacob Kivior today played as a center back. So I think Arsenal is a team at the current moment that have plans. They are very adaptable. They defend deep when they want, as we saw in the games that they played in the Premier League, and also can go out there and absolutely smother oppositions. They can absolutely dominate opposition, stamp their authority on the game. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, Arsenal, now it is the time. It might be your year this season. It might be your year, especially, of course, with the unfortunate injury for Rodri, for Manchester City. It might be your year, Arsenal. But I'm here to absolutely give props, massive props for Ethan Waneri, massive props for Declan Rice for Gabriel Jesus today because I'm expecting Bukasaka to play well Raheem Sterling as well today I have to give him props today Raheem Sterling even though I'm not his biggest fan I have to admit that I'm not his biggest fan I am not thinking that Raheem Sterling is someone you can rely on in the tough moments but he played well today he did the job that is required from him with someone that that experience he's 28 years old played for Liverpool Man City and uh, and um, and of course played for Chelsea very very disappointed for Chelsea as well. So to me, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, Arsenal are there. Arsenal, people say they are scary. We are waiting to see the next seven to eight games before they play Liverpool. Are they going to be able to absolutely stamp their authority? And I'm expecting them to smash Leicester City, to smash Southampton and respond to everyone that keeps doubting this team, keep doubting the ability, uh, the ability of this team. Even Kyle Averts off the bench. He absolutely cooked uh, off the bench. He scored the goal, of course. Uh, it was an easy game for Arsenal, to be honest. We have to be honest with each other. It was an easy game. But I'm, I'm looking at this Arsenal team and I'm like, listen, they are good enough. They are good enough to win the Premier League. There is no, there is no shadow of a doubt that they are good enough to, to win the Premier League. Challenged back-to-back -back seasons, last two seasons. This is the year that I think maybe Arsenal will be able to get over the line finally. Maybe this is the year where Arsenal get over the line. I am not like putting everything and saying they are massive favorites, but they are up to the task against Manchester City. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they are the team or maybe Liverpool, but I'm, I'm really having more hope on them to stop the dominance of Pep Guardiola and the mighty Manchester City with that, with the, the team with Haaland, Foden, KDB. You know what I mean? They have Gavardiol, they have Ederson. Uh, they have Savinho. Man City are a juggernaut, as people like to say. But listen, Arsenal are there. Smashed Bolton with a second team. Uh, they're only playing Declan Rice and Bakai Saka from the starting eleven. Hats off to them, to be honest, for putting out a performance like this. You can only smash and win against the team that's in front of you. We'll see how they do in the weekend. Of course, after this, the weekend after. And then we'll see if Odegaard comes back. Maybe this international break on the next one. I think it's going to be the next one. But they're going to get Mikel Moreno back. So, to be honest with you, Arsenal are still scary, as people like to say. If you are still here, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you guys later.